Salve, my name is Geza Frank. I'm a musician, reenactor, and officer in the militia segment of the Austrian army. Welcome to my 14 day experiment, where I'm going to wear the armor of a Roman repentant soldier of the 4th century AD for 10 to 12 hours a day while eating Roman combat rations. All this is going to culminate in me scaling a 2,300 meter high mountain in full Roman combat gear. This is day one. During those 14 days, I'm going to attempt to eat only what Roman soldiers would have had as rations given to them by the army and what would likely be available through foraging. I'm going to try and balance my calorie intake and the calories I burn with what experts believe Roman soldiers would have had to endure during campaigns. I invite you to accompany me over the next 14 days as I make daily videos and resumes about how the days go, what I learned about myself, what I learned about the armor, what I learned about the food. Since the Roman soldier is predominantly responsible for his own food preparation for most days of a campaign, I'm going to learn also what it means to prepare the foods that are detailed in the sources, such as the Codex Theodosianus, Vegetius, the Edict of Constantius II, and some other sources of previous and later centuries. I will further also likely encounter situations where just the modern world and the world of antiquity embodied in the reenactor will collide and clash. I have also some work to do sitting behind a computer during most days, editing videos as well as managing a few projects that I have set up over the past years. And um, I'm also a musician in playing in several Celtic music bands, uh, which means that I have to balance my practice and uh, composing, composition schedule with this experiment. I will also have some appointments in the city. I live nearby Vienna in Austria. We currently have a lockdown because of the corona pandemic and um, there's some further challenges. This is not proper experimental archaeology. I'm also not wanting to pretend that this is somehow a truly scientific uh, endeavor at recreating the living conditions of a Roman soldier. What this is about is much more about myself, actually. I'm a soldier in the Austrian army. I have joined the Austrian army at the age of uh, 18 in 2005 and hold currently the rank of uh, Lieutenant Second Class. I'm interested to see how my body that is trained for the specifications of modern warfare handles the ancient equipment of a Roman repenser soldier that would have been stationed close to where I live on the Danube frontier. I'm wearing the equipment and attire of a repenser soldier, which is basically the river border guards of the Roman Empire in the 4th century. These uh, are believed to have had not significant differences in equipment and quality of training to the regular field army, the Comitatensis units and legions. They were inferior in pay, not even throughout all the 4th century, but for most of it, and they could be transferred also seamlessly into the field army. So there's a lot of cliches going around about a repenser soldier or the Limitanei in general having had inferior training or inferior quality of equipment. Archaeology doesn't really support this notion anymore and also the texts don't show that this has any grounding in historical truth. For this experiment I will for most of the day wear the chainmail and the belt with a knife which amounts to approximately 13 kilograms. The chainmail by itself weighs about 11 kilograms. I'm also wearing historical clothes, my tunic which is dyed in madder and um, woven in wool, um, and my socks, udones and leg wraps uh, that all correspond to archaeological originals. And um, I wear also a sub-armor tunic which is made from thick wool felt. Uh, which is detailed, for example, in De Rebus Bellicis, uh, under the section about the Toracomachus. Um, these two weeks will show where this type of equipment wears the, the fastest and where I likely didn't construct it in the most efficient way. And it will also show me where I need to adapt and change a few things. For example, 
the chainmail, I will have to readapt the collar because it is too large now. The idea of scaling a mountain in full equipment is not based on any historical accounts. This is not about Hannibal crossing the Alps. This didn't happen in the 4th century as such. There was alpine crossings of armies. There was also battles in the Southern Alps, like for example the Battle of the Frigidus, which took place in mountainous areas, but not at an altitude of 2300 meters. This is more about my own um, combat readiness, about my own physical uh, capabilities after a period where I have basically historic combat rations and a caloric intake uh, that corresponds vaguely to what an average Roman soldier is believed to have had. The story goes as follows. Mostly when reenactors go about such um, stunts, I would say, such adventures, uh, there's a lot of critique and criticism. Yes, it is a physical challenge to scale a mountain or traverse long distances marching in historic equipment and armor. Yet, of course, it's a legitimate critique that we are, as modern humans, completely different in many ways to historic people. We're better nourished today than most people would have been in history. Although the Romans and throughout the empire's history were largely very well nourished and didn't have any lack of um, availabilities in food, uh, on campaign it's a different story. On campaign you will experience lack of certain nutrients, especially vitamins. I will experience certain effects, I will lose some weight, I will lose some body fat, and I will, through the training, um, be of course exhausted to a certain degree. I will go into overtraining. You will see me do the same exercises on repeated days in a row. This is not about getting fitter and more in shape. These 14 days are really here to um, simulate something. I want to simulate campaign conditions so that the um, challenge of walking up this mountain feels a bit more legit than just waking up one morning fully rested and then just scale the mountain and equipment. All right, here we go.
this was day one and I'm pretty tired as expected uh, but that is largely due also to the training I did yesterday before I started this challenge and um, I'm having uh, quite a bit of lack of sleep as well main challenge today wasn't anything to do with the armor really uh, but the food actually okay for one day but <laughs> if I have to imagine to eat uh, pork fat every two days uh, I would be going foraging as fuck because um, yeah only the pork fat with what was supplied uh, is certainly not enough to uh, stimulate the taste buds and um, to keep you going to keep the spirits high so as a, as a soldier also in a, in a contemporary army in the Austrian army I, I know exactly that um, an army marches really on its stomach as Napoleon said and uh, that means it needs to taste also well uh, to a certain degree and I managed that with the breakfast but I didn't really manage that with uh, with the dinner and I'd say that that's uh, something I definitely need to work on the next days yeah so tomorrow it's all for the same I'm going to do a bit more exercise uh, more physical exercise more weights and um, we'll see how it goes and now I'm gonna catch a few hours sleep as my body says 